Hi folks, I'm Alex Tetikov. I'm in my studio. Today I'm checking out this new addition to my studio, which is Mac Mini M1. This little guy, it's amazing, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, since it came out at the end of last year, I've placed an order with B&H uh, for this guy with 16 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabyte SSD storage. But with that uh, configuration, it was not available. I don't know why, but I was waiting and waiting and waiting and the month is gone and it's not available. So I decided because of so many reviews on YouTube and people saying good stuff about this computer and people saying not so good stuff about this computer. So I decided to check it out myself and uh, the only available was 8 gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. So I said, okay, it's time to check it out and finally decide if this computer is good or not for myself. And I did and I got it just a couple of days ago. I've set it up with my uh, studio and uh, I can tell you I'm impressed already. First of all, uh, I've downloaded FCPX or 10 for free trial for 90 days, which is generous from Apple. I don't know, it's, it's, it's generous. So I downloaded it and I played for a few days. I'm for years and years I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro and all the Adobe stuff. And it was okay, but some stuff I didn't like. Anyway, since this came out and um, it's a free trial. So first I was hesitating like, oh, I, there will be so much to learn with FHCP. FCP Ace X. <laughs> FCP X. Okay. So, surprise, in a couple days I'm running around. It's not that complicated. If you like me, been using Premiere Pro, it's just different name of the tools and uh, different places they are in. So you need just figure out where is it and that's it. And basically the Basics are the same. So anyway, what I want to show you today, it's, I'm impressed. Like, come on, this $699 computer doing this unexpected stuff, which if you've been doing videos for a while, you know for sure that's to work with 4K uh, in pretty good, you know, um, flow. Computer must be at least three thousand dollars, or even more. But for be for the beginning, no less than that. Otherwise, it's not gonna perform good. But this guy. So what I have here is four timelines, 4K, all of them with different file formats, and on top of this, I have some uh, graphics here. So that's five lines. And uh, when I'm scrubbing through this, look what's happening. It's very smooth. It's just scrubbing without any hesitation. I, I could not get that on my old computer, which is 32 gigabyte of RAM and endless amount of storages. Uh, couldn't do it. But let me do a screen recording so you can see better. Now, um, look, no problem at all. Even with graphics, there is no problem at all. And now I want to play to you the whole two minutes and 50 seconds everything is smooth 
Everything is working fine. I don't know why is it so smooth even. Who knows? Okay, here we go. This is probably the hardest part. There is so much going on. There is some additional effects. And wow. It's still running without hesitation. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Absolutely crazy. I love this. I love this. I love this computer. It's something about architecture, I guess. But that's impressive. And I can tell you there is actually not just four videos on four timelines. Uh, I did some little bit of color correction on almost all of them. I think on all of them. And even with that, which usually takes a lot of computer power, I didn't see any problem. Oh, that was firework. As I previously said, my old system, which is Windows, has 32 gigabyte of RAM and a lot of storage. And processor is not the best for today, but it's, it's kind of four years old, but it's still pretty good. And uh, in a Premiere Pro, I couldn't get this type of performance. Uh, because it's always staggering and stopping. It's never, I mean, probably a couple times it crashed. I mean, the old system. <clears throat> but to play back just like this, it was not possible. And this is kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a heaven. It's a heaven. <laughs> I mean, to have this, nice playbacks. It will make your life, I mean my life, and yours too if you're gonna buy it. Way much easier, and it will speed up my process a lot. Also, I have found that um, some things I already like better with FCPX than Premiere Pro. There is some things which is really working okay. fine. I'm impressed. I'm impressed big time. If that is so good, I wonder now. And uh, just just today I received the one I ordered from B&H, which is 16 gigabyte of RAM and uh, 512 gigabyte of SSD. And I wonder if this will perform even better. Is there a need for 16 gigabyte RAM or 8 will be enough? Uh, I'll probably go with 16 anyway. So what do you think, guys, about this little boy, little guy? I'm impressed big time. Hopefully in the future I wouldn't have any problem with that. Some people uh, report like there is um, Bluetooth problem with this computer. I haven't got any big problem with that yet. Probably yet. I hope never. And um, if you have any suggestions, just write your comment. What do you think about this? And is it really a good system or you would prefer to have Intel, Mac, with better RAM and better uh, storages. By the way, storages are not a big deal with this computer. I forgot to tell you that I'm running whole thing, not internally, I mean the FCPX, not internally, but from this 
SSD drive. This is Samsung T5, which is pretty slow drive. It's about 500 megabyte per second. That's what they advertise. But I'm running uh, this program from this hard drive without any problem, as you've seen. Also, uh, I've connected this hard drive SSD through Thunderbolt and this dock. It's the Lenovo ThinkPad dock, which is working great. I connected this to one uh, USB, I mean Thunderbolt, and another one I connected this dock, call digit. And here is uh, NVMe M2 SSD, which is about um, four times faster than uh, this little guy. And I've connected it through call digit. They call it Soho hub or dock, which is connected to second Thunderbolt 3 port and as you've seen it's it's working smooth very smooth no problem at all i mean <laughs> i love it so uh what do you think folks about this system the setup i got uh if you have any better suggestions please do please comment uh so far i'm happy i'm gonna check out my uh 16 gigabyte Mac Mini, the one I bought <clears throat> in the beginning of December. And if you have any suggestions, if you like this video, if you got some good useful information, please write your comment, give me a thumb up, and I'll see you in next video. Bye-bye now.